guys. So this is my January favourites video. I decided to do this because I've had some particular products that I wouldn't normally use on like an everyday basis that I actually have grown such a liking to and I just wanted to share them with you guys. Um, so I think I'll start off with the first one which is Cupcake. Now this is a face mask from Lush and it's got, oh it's dripping a little bit, um, there is um, some chocolate in there, it's got cocoa butter and it's got something called Rizul Mode as well. It's sort of designed for, um, let's see, like teenage skin where it's quite oily and um, like breakout prone, um, which isn't really me, like I do get slightly oily skin, but well I suppose I'm a little bit breakout prone but that's not really the reason I used it. I used it because I felt like I needed to have like a good detox on my skin, really sort of draw everything out the pores and um, just a little bit of moisture, not too much. Um, now this one is delicious, I will show you what it looks like, I just have to be a little careful because it, because obviously with the um, Licious face masks you do keep them in the fridge, so I'm just wiping the edge so it doesn't drip too much, um, but that's that's kind of what it looks like. It's a really nice chocolatey spread kind of looking face mask and it just smells amazing. It does have a little bit of mint in there as well but I believe but I don't know it's very very small amount like it's not a strong mint and um, you know if you were to sort of smell like after I mint chocolates it doesn't quite smell like that it's not quite as strong on the mint but I do really love that it's a really great face mask and it's it's fresh obviously as well um meaning that they you have to put these in the fridge because they're preservative free um now usually this is a bit of a barrier for me as to why I buy um face masks uh, so why I don't buy face masks from Lush and it's just because I kind of forget that they're there and I'm not really the type of person to sit there chill out with a face mask on very much um but occasionally I'll go through a phase where I'm just like I really want a face mask and I just decided to go for that one it's one I've tried before and when I tried it before it was just a little bit too much so I went in got a sample and um sample went great absolutely loved it so I went back and bought the pot and yeah really loving it really loving it so that one is my January favourites um face mask which I adore now the rest of my skincare hasn't really changed um, you can find what I'm using as like my daily routine on my blog page which I will link below for you guys as well um, but yeah apart from that my, my skincare hasn't really changed however um, if you also follow my blog you will know that I am moving to Canada this um, well in about a month's time really not long away now they do get really really hot summers and I am terrible for remembering to put sun cream on and also because my usual moisturiser from Lush is called Vanishing Cream I'll just um, pick it up for you guys to see but Vanishing Cream is good for like oily t-zones which is what I've got so that's the pot and um, sorry I realise the lighting's a little bit too strong in here at the moment and it's quite a sort of liquidy cream nothing sort of special about it but it is quite thin and it sort of hydrates my skin but it controls oiliness and it also controls um, regular breakouts for me as well so I just get little spots here and there not nothing too major um, but vanishing cream usually kind of sorts it out unfortunately it doesn't have an SPF in there so I kind of wanted to I still wanted to stick with Lush because I really do love their skincare um, range and I've tried a couple of other moisturizers from them before um, including um, like more moisturising ones including Skin Shangri-La and that one is lovely but it's just a little bit too heavy for me so it's I kind of use it as a night cream just to um, so that I can still get used out of the pot because it is quite an expensive one so I didn't want to just chuck it away um, but I popped by and I mentioned that I was moving and that I did want an SPF but the, um, I did realise that British Nanny in particular which is their only um, moisturiser with an SPF um, from what I know it is also only sold in Britain and um, this is the pot um, as you can see it's actually got a little British flag on the top as well and it's also an SPF 30 now this is their only moisturiser that has an SPF and it's only sold in Britain as well so I thought well 
if it works for me I have to get it here I can't get it over there because they're not going to sell it in the Lush in Canada um, now this one is a really thick moisturiser I actually dropped the pot the other day if I had dropped my um, va uh, vanishing cream that would have gone all over the place this one nothing just no movement it's completely solid and I'll just see if I can show you the texture that's kind of the amount that I would put on to pretty much cover the whole half of my face but it is really thick and that will literally cover my hand and probably a little bit more it's very very thick um, do you know what though surprisingly to say I've got slightly oilier skin it's been fantastic the first time I used it I um, used cupcake the night before because I thought right let's get rid of all that oiliness let's kind of almost dry my skin out Um then in the morning I, I didn't put anything else on my skin that night either Um nothing moisturizing whatsoever then in the morning I did a really really light layer of British Nanny like got a dot of it and spread it all over my face and I also got like a setting powder and just swept that over my face did a really good layer of that um, just so that if I did get a bit oily throughout the day that hopefully the setting powder would absorb it a little bit and do you know what after I used it a couple of times um, I actually went back on the setting powder and now I don't really actually need to use it so I don't know maybe I think my skin's one of those that it gets oily but maybe it's because I need a bit more moisture um, so I'm not really sure but vanishing cream still works fine for me I've just sort of switched back and forth between them a little bit um, both of them are absolutely fine on my skin and um, the difference is throughout the day that I do notice my skin is a bit more hydrated throughout the day with British Nanny um, whereas it's not so much with um, vanishing cream but they still kind of balance and even out my skin tone which is um, great so even if you're uh, very put off by the texture of British Nanny um, just ask the guys for a sample just so that you can try it because um, they're quite happy to do that because obviously they are aware that it's a very thick cream and that it's also um, more on the expensive side of their moisturisers most are between sort of 10 and 20 pounds and then there's like three which are like 25 and above um, so usually they're all right with them um, giving samples of British Nanny because they do realise that you want to make sure that it's right um, but yeah I tried it sample I got it lasted me like two weeks and I got a really good chance at sampling it so it was great so I thought well I'll buy a pop so that is my new my new favorite moisturizer and it's one I'm gonna definitely take with me to Canada and um, sorry about that guys I just had to pause it because I was getting some important messages through and I noticed my phone buzzing right next to where all my products are um, but yeah I just finished off by saying that yeah I'm definitely taking British Nanny with me to um, Canada I'm gonna try and try and get a friend to send me some more when I run out as well um, so from that I'm uh, I do know what, I'm gonna stick with the Lush products first and um, there's only one more and then I'm gonna move on to my makeup as well um, so basically I do not have blonde hair as you can see but I decided to try Marilyn now this one is a um, it's a hair treatment for blondes basically it's a really really light color and this could be a little bit dangerous because it's kind of liquidy but I'll just show you a little snippet of it. It kind of smells a little bit like chamomile tea almost. A bit of lemon in there. Um, so it's quite nice. It's very kind of, um, I don't know if it's because it's been sat um, for quite a few months in my in my drawer and um, waiting to be used. But it's kind of liquidy. Um, but I'm pretty sure when I picked it up it was a bit thicker. Now... This is more of a treatment for blondes. I did look at the um, ingredients as to why it was better for blondes and it seems to be the chamomile and the lemon in there because it gets rid of, um, so it, it brightens the hair a little bit. Um, now obviously I'm not blonde but I've tried their other hair moisturisers and um, there's one which I can't pronounce very well. I'm guessing it's something like Chouin Wen Noir. Um, it's a little bit weird, you'll know it when you see it. Now that one's the first one I properly ever tried. It was way too heavy for me. Like, it, I don't know, I don't know whether I just applied it wrong, left it in too long, or whether it was, 
um i didn't wash it out properly but it didn't really make my hair feel great um but i do know other people that use it find it fantastic for their hair especially if they've dyed it as well um but yeah it just didn't really work for me um, then there was Jasmine and Henna Fluffies. I do actually have the pot of that. Um, so that's this one here. Now there's only a little bit left in here so I think I might use this on the ends of my hair. Um, and I love the smell of this. It just, it smells like Jasmine. It's gorgeous. A little bit like something else slightly creamier as well. Yeah, you can, there's some Ylang Ylang in there. But there's things like Brazil nut oil, coconut oil, hemp oil castor oil, soy oil, wheat germ, there's all sorts of stuff in this. Now this one is more moisturising than Marilyn for definite, um, but I would say that if you want, if your hair's not particularly damaged and you just want to give it some like lightness and fluffiness, um, make it feel really nice and soft, then Marilyn's still a great option, even if you don't have blonde hair because it's, it's very light on the hair, but it's still got things like olive oil in there, so it's still quite, it adds some strength to the hair too. Um, and Jasmine and Hannah is definitely, if your hair's a bit more damaged, if it's quite sort of frizzy and dry, um, so that one's a bit more intensive. Um, but neither of them are as heavy as the other one that I can't pronounce. Um, but yeah, I loved it. I loved it. My hair was manageable. I got the brush through it really nice and easily when, I've wa when I'd washed it. Um, so I definitely recommend that. And I think because it's so light, I think I could get away with using it more often. Whereas Jasmine and Hannah Fluffies, I have to be careful because it can make the top of my hair quite greasy because it's sort of overly moisturised. Um, so yeah, if you are wanting to check out um, a lush hair products or skincare in fact, Feel free to do so because the guys will help you and sort of direct you to the right place. Um, but I would definitely say that Marilyn isn't just for blondes. Um, you know, it, it's still got some nice moisturising ingredients in there, so it'll still be nice and good for your hair. Uh, so that's my sort of lush products. And what I'm going to do next, I'll probably talk about. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. I'll talk about my hula, which sounded really weird. My hula who would I benefit this is I got um, a kit for Christmas from one of my friends and it had loads of little sample sizes of their makeup which was wonderful and it was like their best selling um, makeup products and this is Hula and it's a bronzer that's the colour of it and it's actually been really good um, just sort of for about a couple of months before I got the um, bronzer I stopped wearing bronzer I just wanted to go for the sort of natural me look with a bit of um, foundation and blusher but since I got it I think <laughs> I need blush I need bronzer <laughs> in my life it's one of those um sort of can't live without products now um definitely blusher is my personal favorite I could not live without a blusher um maybe bronze is the second one and then like my eye makeup as well um, but it's really nice it goes on quite well I use quite a thick brush it's quite an old brush as well because um, it's actually from um, a company which was called Virgin V, which is no longer. Um, and that one was obviously run by the Virgin Company. But that's the brush. It's just a nice thick brush. Um, so because it, it's so small, it's a bit of a twizzle. But um, but no, I, I do like cooler. And the only thing I've got to watch with bronzers is that they don't clog up my pores. So I have to make sure that I do take off my makeup quite thoroughly. Um, and as you can see from one of my um, skincare posts, um, on my blog I do actually use ultra blend to take off all my makeup and that's also from Lush and that just gets rid of everything without being harsh on the skin um, but no love love Hula it's absolutely fantastic and um, the next benefit products almost forgot the company there either um, and that's these also came in the kit and one is Benny Tin and that's one I've been wanting to use for a little while sorry guys I how well you can see the colour of it so it's quite a nice deep red very rosy and then also high beam and this one is a highlighter so it's very sort of almost skin coloured it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it but I'll just show you now the reason I was put off by um, Benef Benny Tin is because it's all liquid and I tend to get on more with um, powders but that's the colour and what I do to sort of blend it in I just kind of pat it in don't know how that looks so it's quite subtle you can just see it there um, and then high beam is again it's a liquid one uh, so I just put a dot there 
and you can just blend that in and that's really nice and I tend to use highlighter just on my brow bones I'm quite sort of simple in that I don't go for it with the cheekbones and the cupid's bow and the forehead anything like that I'm I tend to be quite simple with my highlighter um but no the bron uh, sorry, the blusher absolutely love it now this one is one that you can use on your lips as well um and it's a lip and cheek cheek stain i don't really like it on my lips though um i will be honest i like something more moisturizing where that one is just obviously a liquid and um, because it's a stain and i prefer a proper lipstick um the one i'm wearing at the moment by the way is a body shop one and um, i'll show you the color this is oh which way around um what does it say it just says 55 not sure okay but I'll show you the colour. And I have been wearing it a little bit. Um, so the colour has worn off a little bit. So that's that's the colour. It's a nice light pink. It's really nice and simple. Um, and I thought it would go well because I've got like a lilac top on. Um, I've got lilac nails as well. And um, like the Benetint um, cheek stain as well. So I thought, yeah, pink. Pink that'll suit me better. Um, but no, I absolutely love those products. When they've run out, I'm definitely going to purchase the larger size. And I've also been interested in the other lip and cheek stains that they've got. So I know they have quite a range of colours. Um, they've got like Cha Cha or something. I think there's Posy Tin. They've done a new one, which is like a lollipop kind of name. Um, and it's a really bright pink. Um, and it's kind of a similar pink to my Dior Rosy Glow, which I absolutely love. And that's the colour of that. Oops, sorry, guys that's very very bright pink and that's kind of the colour that the um, other benefit one looks like so I'm interested in trying a few more and um, so highly recommend them really really good I do love benefit makeup as it is um, and it I was just kind of wary about it I do find if you're wearing like your powder bronzer though the best way to apply it is just do a couple of streaks and then just pat it in on your cheek that's that seems to have the best effects if you're uh, sort of rubbing it you find that you're rubbing the um, bronzer as well underneath and I kind of got a bit of a streak so I had to kind of fill it in as well which just kind of created more problems um, so yeah I do love them they're brilliant products definitely get uh, definitely go try them out and um, then the other um, product now this one's actually an eye palette you will have heard a huge amount of stuff about this eye palette it's the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and I kind of, I bought them, I loved them, I tried them out, I thought they were great, and then I kind of forgot about them, and I thought, well, do you know what, I need to wear my eyeshadow, Oops, camera cut me off, um, but yeah, I thought I need to wear my um, eyeshadow a lot more often, so I decided to experiment again, and the colour that I've been loving the most is one called the uh, Pistol, and it's kind of, sorry, the mirror's horrible, uh, it's huge, um, for a camera but it's pistol and that's this colour just here so it's a kind of a sparkly kind of grey which is really nice it's not too sparkly but it's got like a shimmer to it and um, I've also loved the one called Booty Call which is cool and I've used that one all over the lid now that one's quite quite light and quite shimmery but I've used it all over the lid um, and sort of you know literally the whole eye and then used like a darker shade so something like um busted which is this one here i've used that one just in the like outer corner and the crease and I tell you what they do make some really good eye looks they are they are fantastic so i can't recommend this enough when i get a chance i'm definitely going to buy the um naked three palettes i do have the original one which is this one this one's kind of got a velvety touch to it and i'll just show you the colors in this one as well so again, very, very similar. I'll show you the next to each other as well. So I find that always, always helps. Oh, this isn't going to work. Oh no. If I do it that way. I'm not amazing at showing makeup palettes, guys, so I apologise. But that's, that's both colours. So you can see that one's got a lot more brown tones in there, and the other one's got a few sort of whiter ones. But it's just lots of different shades of neutral colours. And I just put my finger in the black. <gasps> Great. Not just my finger, my actual nail. That's gonna go going great. Okay, now that's cleaned up. 
Um, so yeah, definitely recommend the Naked palettes. They are fantastic. If you get a chance to buy one, do so please. Um, the second one, I believe, did actually come with a lip colour, like a lip gloss or something. I'm not sure if I still have it because I tend not to like lip glosses because I don't like the sticky texture. I prefer lipsticks. Um, but no, fantastic palettes. Absolutely loved them. And then a couple of other products which I tried um, sort of more towards the end, tail end of January. Um, just for something different as uh, the sort of creamy based ones um, so I've got a paint pot by MAC which I use simply just to use as like a base colour as like um, one where my eyeshadows will stick a little bit better too and it's a really nice plain colour so it just kind of suits the skin tone really nicely it's quite a thick texture and I find that applying it with a brush is so much easier than um, applying it with the finger because the finger kind of sticks because it's kind of it's not a soft creamy texture it's kind of a sticky texture almost but it does I don't know, don't know what I'm on about it's quite creamy actually but I found on my lids it um it doesn't go as well with just my finger as it does with the brush so this is the Benefit um cream shadow brush and literally just sort of get a little bit on the end and then do it this way and then just cover the skin and I just sort of dot it over um, and then use my finger just to sort of blend it a little bit extra just to make sure it's in um, sort of all covered and not sort of looking a bit patchy or anything. Um, but I'll probably definitely try another uh, MAC paint pot because it is very, very good and it just helps them, the eyeshadow stick a little bit better. Um, on top of that, I have been using the Clinique French Vanilla Colour. You can tell I've used this a lot and now this has taken forever to get down that far forever so if you are looking at eyeshadows um the clinic range are absolutely fantastic um but yeah this is french vanilla just a really nice base color so i put the paint pot on then i put this on and um, just for something a little bit softer to the touch um but no fantastic absolutely love them and then the last color i've been well last product really um is the maybelline colour tattoo 24 hour now i'm not too sure what colour this is in i think it may be this um 35 on and on bronze um this is a lovely colour it's kind of a shimmery bronze it's really really nice i'll show you the colour on the skin as well there we go that's the colour so it's really nice and I've just literally just done it in the corner of my eye, gone up the crease a little bit and that's it. That's all I had to do. It's a very nice creamy to the touch kind of colour but it sticks very well and it doesn't crease as well which I find some kind of eyeshadow, uh, like cream shadows, they do crease quite easily and that one hasn't creased at all so I'm really pleased with it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my products for January. I can tell that I'm probably going to have a few more for February as well because I want to try out some of the other Benefit products. Um, and with me moving as well soon, I'm trying to sort of use up a few other products because I have literally a whole bag of makeup like and um, cosmetics just in general. I've just chucked them all in this Thomas Lado bag. But I don't know how much you can see. And that's just like one box that you can see. There we go. There's quite a few different products in there. So I want to kind of explore. And these are just the tail end products that I got from um, Glossy Box and Birch Box. Just before I cancelled my subscriptions. And obviously I cancelled them because I'm moving. Um, and I've looked up a few of them. So like just beauty boxes in general to subscribe to in Canada. And there's quite a few options as well. So I'm going to definitely look into that. And see if I can get something going while I'm over there which would be amazing because I can then hopefully put up an extra video so I can do like monthly favourites and hopefully then I can also do like a, um, a beauty box um, like open box and review that kind of thing as well which will be cool and um, so oh oh I forgot product I forgot how could I forget this um, I think I got a little bit distracted by the um, Benetim by Benefit um, because I did actually forget I also had Havana. Now this one I purchased myself, um, whereas the other Benefit products I got as a gift for Christmas. Um, but this one, no, I purchased it myself just before Christmas. And it's Havana, it's got like four different colours and a really pretty swirl pattern. Absolute gorgeous, fantastic colour on the skin. It 
I've used it over the top of um, Benetton just for like a little extra colour. You know like when I said I, I sort of um, rubbed it rather than patted it in. When I've done that, I've gone over with it over it with the blush because it's kind of a similar colour but a bit, I don't know, it's, it's a nice colour because you've got a little bit of like a purpley kind of colour, then you've got like peachy kind of tones and then really light tones. So it's nice, you can just sort of play around with the colours a little bit, it's awesome, I love that blush. Um, but yeah, that's my January favourites. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of the products that you've tried as well. Um, if you've tried any of the products that I've currently got as favourites, what did you think to them yourself? And um, yeah, if you've got any particular favourites that you've been loving over the past months, that'd be really cool to hear about, guys. Um, so feel free to comment below. I'm going to link everything as well below. And... Um, you can check out my blog, um, you can follow me on like Twitter and Instagram as well if you like, because um, I'm going to be doing like nail um, Instagram photos of like the different nail colours and patterns that I'm doing, um, so I'm trying to do at least one a week. Um, I've not been amazing at keeping up with that, but I'm trying, I'm trying. And um, yeah, that's about it guys, um, so thank you for watching, I hope you have an awesome day, and um, feel free to check them out. And, just go for it. Just try something. You never know what you're going to end up with and what you're going to end up loving as well. Thanks, guys. Bye.